In this video, whether you like it or not, I'm going to fill your brain with knowledge. Hey guys, this is Curtis, and I'm back with another video. And this video is a project for science. It's on the sea lamprey, and I hope you guys enjoy. Please, if you like this video, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel please that would help and without any further ado i present the project on the sea lamprey so grab some popcorn sit back relax and enjoy um what's a sea lamprey all right so basically they look really really cute by the sight of these pictures but really the sea lamprey is this big that big seriously that's huge like it's amazing and as i draw this uh they're basically an eel-like fish that's native to the north atlantic ocean as well as the baltic western mediterranean and Adriatic seas that's what it looks like the sea lamprey started invading the great lakes in the early 20th century and that's a pretty long time ago through shipping canals, and I'll talk about that later. As I draw this, this is basically what it looks like, but I'm just drawing it from reference. Okay, so if you guys need a little help deciding basically what this is, I'm gonna give a small diagram in a few seconds. But basically, it's an eel, fish, and leech in one. And it's really weird, actually. Like, what, what the? No, that's not Where weird. does it come from? Alright, so I already mentioned this in What Is It? But basically, it is from originally the Baltic, Western Mediterranean, and... Adriatic seas and as I already said uh, it's basically just mainly found in the North Atlantic Ocean this picture indicates the blue is the water obviously and the yellow is the land and so yeah that's what that indicates if you're wondering and these are the Baltic Western Mediterranean and Adriatic seas Alright, so we're going to move on to the next thing, but first, there has been absolutely no reports that I've heard. I mean, maybe not that you haven't heard, but I, as far as I know, they don't bite. So, I mean, they don't bite humans. I'm not sure, but if you try to put one on your skin, I think it's going to try if you want it. But if I were to have one on my skin, I would say they will bite they will leave a mark marks like this like that and this like ew. when and how did it get here okay so the sea lamprey entered the great lakes system in the 1800s through man-made locks and canals as i draw it after the opening of the welland canal in 1829 and after its modification in 1919 then, Niagara Falls served as a natural barrier to keep sea lampreys out of the upper Great Lakes. Sea lampreys were first observed in Lake Ontario in the 1830s. They didn't invade uh, Lake Erie prior to the improvements of the Welland Canal in 1919, but the sea lamprey were observed in Lake Erie in 1921. After spreading into Lake Erie, sea lampreys moved rapidly to the other Great Lakes, appearing in Lake Street, Clare in 1934, Lake Michigan in 1936, Lake Huron in 1937, and Lake Superior in 1938. By the late 1940s, sea lamprey populations exploded in all upper lakes, causing the served damage to Lake 
trout, and other critical fish species. What does it do here? Okay, so again, the sea lamprey is like a leech to fish. It uses its sharp teeth to bite into fish and then proceed to suck its blood, killing the fish. It's like a water dracula that just doesn't even care when it kills something. But seriously, what does it matter to the sea lamprey? It just kills the fish and runs away, decreasing the biodiversity of the fish. And the best part is, it just doesn't stop until all the fish are dead. What programs are we using to stop this? As far as I know, the GLFC is taking action on preventing sea lampreys from coming into our area. The primary method to control these sea lampreys is the application of lamprecide TFM to, to target sea lampreys larvae in their nursery tributaries. In the concentrations used, the TFM kills larvae before they develop lethal mounds and migrate to the lakes and feed on fish, while most other organisms are unaffected by the TFM. This stuff is deadly to only lampreys and will not harm any mammals or fish. We're at the conclusion part. Yeah. All right, so if you're still watching, that's great. And I just wanted to say thanks for watching. And my resources, like my sources, are cgrant.umn.edu um, and a few other sites, but I forgot the other names. But basically, the main site I used was www.invasivespecies.com. And, anyways, please subscribe, like, and comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!